message is simple but powerful. Yeah! Every one of us has the opportunity, like he did, to make a positive difference in the world we live in. Don't wait for someone else to do it. You can do it. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Muhammad Yunus. Because, because I come from Bangladesh. We are about three and a half times as big as Denmark. With 150 million people. So seeing all of you, feels like I'm at home. We are, we are tightly packed with people. We enjoy it. But we have one problem. Global warming makes our life very difficult. Our country is a very flat country. While the sea level is rising, our people are displaced. Floods are becoming more frequent. Cyclones are becoming more frequent. We have no place to go. So I'm very happy to see today we are so concerned about the climate change. Thank you. What you do here, saves our life. And I think we should adopt a principle for all of us and tell, tell our children that principle. The principle is, I shall not live my life in a way which will take away the enjoyment of other people's lives somewhere else. If we follow that principle, all the problems of global warming will be solved. Because global warming is a problem created by us, by the way we live. If we change our lifestyle, global warming will be resolved. We want to hand over this planet to our next generation, a safer world than we found it. Today we are doing it the other way. We are making it more dangerous world when we hand it over to our children than we found it. That has to be reversed. We cannot go on make this planet more dangerous every day. subject that I do, probably you heard about it as Chuck was introducing, I'm, I'm the guy who has been doing all kinds of crazy things. I started a bank with $27. And that I wanted to do it in a different way than the banks do. I wanted to lend money to the poorest people. And when people ask me, how did you design it? How did you figure it out? I said it was very simple. I knew nothing about banking. That helped me a lot. What I did, when I needed to do something, create a rule, principle. I just look at the conventional banks, how they do it. When I learn how they do it, I just go ahead and do the opposite. And, and it worked. And it worked beautifully. 
They go to the rich, I go to the poor. They go to men, I go to women. They go to the urban center, I go to the rural village. They ask their customers to come to their office, I said, forget it. I said, people should not come to the bank. Bank should go to the people. Conventional banks wanted collateral. I said, forget about collateral. Poor people don't have any collateral. So our bank is without collateral. We don't need any collateral. Our bank is without any lawyers. We don't need any lawyers. works beautifully. Now, after 33 years, big banks, which were telling that this is not banking, those banks are collapsing. Conventional banks are collapsing. Is the Grameen Bank, is the microcredit banks which are flourishing. So, the lesson is, when you don't know something, don't get upset about it. You have the best chance, you have the best chance to succeed because you can start new, completely fresh. Your ideas will conquer the whole world. set up in the Bangladesh is the biggest bank in the country. We have nearly 8 million borrowers. 97% of them are women. They own the bank. Bank makes profit, profit goes back to them as dividend. And they change their life. Their children are in school. And we give them a student loan so that they can continue to go into higher education. From illiterate families, coming from totally illiterate families, this second generation are becoming highly educated because of the Grameen Bank's loans. Sometimes the children, those who are in graduate schools, they come and ask me, can you help us find jobs? I said, forget jobs. You think differently. You always feel you are not job seekers. You are job givers. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself mentally, psychologically, that you'll never seek job from anybody. Every morning you wake up, you look at yourself and repeat the pledge. I shall never seek job from anybody. My mission in life is to create jobs for others. Everybody said, you cannot give loans to beggars. I said, we'll do it. So we went ahead and started giving loans to beggars. We tell them, as you go from house to house, can you carry something to sell house to house? We'll give you the money. And they liked that. And they started doing that. We gave them loans. As they go, they carry some merchandise to sell. And we thought there will be 3,000, 4,000 beggars in the program. Today, there are 120,000 beggars in the program. And it's only a four-year-old program. More than 16,000 beggars have already stopped begging. They became successful door-to-door -door salesperson. And the remaining 100,000 100, or so, I would say they are part-time beggars now because they are mixing begging and selling at the same time. One thing we have to make clear, we can create a new kind of framework. Today, the financial system is collapsing. 
this is the greatest opportunity to create a completely new framework so that we create a new world for ourselves. We're talking about social business, business to change the world rather than make money. That's where we went wrong. Economic theory has treated human being as like a money-making machine. We are not money-making machines. We are human beings. We don't want to end life by making a stack of money and don't know what to do with it. We are here to change the world. We want to create the world of our dream. The one the kind of world that we all want to create. Each one of us has the capacity to create the world that we want. And that's what we are going to do. That's why we'll create social business. Social business is a non-loss, non-dividend company with a social purpose. So we'll be creating companies not for making money. We'll be creating companies to end all the problems we have. Poverty, diseases, climatic problems, problem of health care, problem of drinking water. We can bring all the technology in the world. We can bring all the technology in the world to create those companies and end this all the world problem that we have. And we create our dream world in our lifetime. That's the promise. That's the challenge we have to take. In our lifetime, in our lifetime, we want to see the whole world. There is not a single person who can be called a poor person. There will be no poor person in the world because there is no need to be a poor person in the world. We want to create poverty museum so that when the poverty is over, our children will go to poverty museum to see what poverty used to be like. That's what our commitment. That's what we shall do. We'll do it. Thank you.